Hi everyone, I'm Lee. I'm from Team 7 section. Our research question is to determine the feasibility to build a storage system for electricity generated by solar panels on candle building. I'm focusing on question 1. Is it possible to build a battery to store electricity converted from solar energy? The solar energy scratching on the Earth in one hour can support Earth's needs for one year and it is sustainable and clean. My principal photovoltaic effect is the theory how to convert solar energy to electricity. In order to understand how photovoltaic effect works, we need to understand what electricity is. Electricity is a form of energy that starts with atoms. Protons, electrons, and neutrons are three parts of an atom. When an external force is applied to an atom, electrons are free to move from one atom to another atom. And this will cause a electrical current, and electricity is created. Then we come back to photovoltaic effect. Photovoltaic effect is to convert solar energy to electricity directly. Photovoltaic cells are made based on photovoltaic effect. If we consider it as a photovoltaic cell, the top part is the front contact. This can absorb solar energy. And the inside of photovoltaic cells, there are three layers. The top layer is N-type layer and the bottom layer is a p-type layer. n-type layer is negatively charged, and the p-type layer is positively charged. And the junction. A photovoltaic cell is made of semiconductor. Semiconductor is the material in between of conductor and non-conductor. Initially, electrons don't move. When sunlight strikes on the solar panels, the electrons get energy, and they are free to move. Due to the special property of semiconductor, electrons tend to move to n-type area. So the electrons move to here, and a tiny potential difference is created between n-type layer and p-type layer. If we connect it with an external electrical device, like a battery, the electron will move through the battery and back to p-type area. And then, and then another electron move from the battery through the battery to p-type layer. And all electrons are moving. By doing this, an electrical current is formed and electricity is created. By studying this principle, we can know how much electricity is produced per day by solar panels. If we look at this formula, here, 1000 watt hour per meter square times 6 hour times area times 13 percent equals to the electricity generated a day. 1000 watt per hour meter square is the amount of energy on uh, 1 meter square area in 1 hour. Uh, 6 hour means there are only about 6 hours of sunlight which has high enough light, light intensity to run the solar panel. 20% is the efficiency to convert solar energy to electricity by solar panels. And the final factor we need to know is the area. We only need to know the area will be attached for solar panels on candle building. We will be able to calculate how much electricity is generated a day. Finally, we can determine the battery which can store this amount of energy. And we will reach, introduce the redox reaction and the battery in her video.